courage to do it. So they're very, very pleased with themselves about this and feel that they're doing something extremely uh, positive. They, they think that it's really tough and that having to listen to all of your briefs is part of the anguish that they're putting up with uh, in order to accomplish what they consider to be a wonderful goal and that at the end of it all, the entire world will applaud them wildly. That's my view. Please, David, and anyone else, and we're going to wrap it up. With um, uh, I, I think that, uh, interestingly, they, they, they chose Bernard Grinville as the, the ball carrier around this. Um, it's not Jean-François Lisey. I mean, actually, if you, if you read Jean-François Lisey's books, uh, not so long ago, he wrote stuff that's pretty much goes right against what Monsieur Drainville is defending at the moment. I think Drainville believes it. I'm not so sure Lisey believes it. Um, I, I think that Bernard Drainville is, is somewhat being used in this. In this. He's, he's a bit of a pawn in the game. He's, he's not the head honcho behind it. It's Lisey, and I think Lisey's got his